Hello, I'm Caroline Worthington, Director of the Royal Society of Sculptors and welcome to our home, Dora House. Dora House is one of the oldest buildings in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea and it was built in 1820. But what you see today is a facade that was installed in 1885 when the court photographers Elliot and Fry took over the building and made it their home and photography studio. Dora House was given to the Society in 1976 by one of our members, Cecil Thomas, and it was his home studio from 1919 until his death. Since we moved in, the building's gone to a bit of rack and ruin. A awful lot of work has been needed to repair and restore the building. In 2021, the Board of Trustees decided it was time to take action. We decided to repair and restore the facade of the Dora House to make it safe and watertight. We set about raising a million pounds for the project and we worked down the front of the building from the chimneys to the basement. We've worked with HG Matthews who made the specialist bricks for us that now mean the chimney is safe and repaired and secure. We went to Northampton to the blacksmiths, George James and Sons, to see them repair the metal balconies from the first floor. We had a bit of drama on the way. We discovered once the scaffolding went up that the windows on the second floor were being crushed by the decorative stone above. So we had to raise an extra quarter of a million pounds to replace the leaded light windows and to replace the stone surrounds. So one of the other challenges we faced was that during the project, someone tried to break into Dora House and they smashed the glass in the front door. The joiners in North Kent Joinery out at Chatham Dockyard decided that in fact the door was so fragile it couldn't be repaired. So they remade it from scratch, an exact replica of the door that we had. At the end of the project, it was very exciting to see the facade of Dora House jet washed. So all the bricks were cleaned, the washing came right down to the front of the building, the brick wall across the front, the lions that sit on the piers on either side of the entrance, and they are now beautifully white and gleaming. The gallery spaces inside Dora House have also been redecorated. An awful lot of people have been involved in this project, helping us along the way. We'd especially like to thank Deborah Lowe Bryce Donor Advice Fund, Mirichen Liebenhain Charitable Foundation, Garfield Western Foundation, Foyle Foundation, Barry Roman and Henry Richardson, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, Heritage of London Trust, Catherine Ashton, North Street Trust, Wool Beading Charity, Paul S. Zuckerman, The Ironmongers Company, Paul and Louise Cook Endowment, the Finnis Scott Foundation, Pennycrest Trust, the Masons Company Charitable Trust, SRO Motorsports Group, Edward Bormer for the paint, TM Lighting for our wonderful new lighting, and our members and donors. Now all the building work's finished, we'd like to thank everyone who's been involved in the project throughout, and we can't wait to welcome you back.